Namaste. This week's meditation is based on the energy that we're going through right now. We have left the energy and are now embarking into the Aries energy. So the Piscean energy is very watery, emotional, and this particular set of energies was coming in to show and to reveal to us some wounds from the past and some trauma from the past, um, things that we may have thought we had already released, things that we have probably already worked through and perhaps even overcome, you know, just the little remnants of that were resurfacing. And so now moving into the Aries energy, we have a new abundant amount of energy, not only just coming to the planet, but coming to uh, the grid of consciousness that moves through humankind. So it's exciting that we're about to gain momentum because Aries energy is about passion, a boldness, uh, leadership, being courageous being strong, being disciplined, um, being cheerful and optimistic. So these are some of the traits of Aries. And there's like five planets in Aries right now. I can't remember them all. I think it's Sun and Moon, Chiron, Venus, uh, maybe Mercury, I'm not sure. Um, but all of this is going to reveal to us a new truth about ourselves. Um, a lot of the people that I follow were saying the month of March was going to be so profound. We were going to end the month not being the same person that we were at the beginning of the month. And I actually found that to be true. So reflect on that for a moment because now we're already in April. This is the month of rebirthing. And um, we're going to be feeling that push uh, to move forward and to believe in ourselves and to believe in our worth and to envision um, what we want and be willing to take action. So let's go ahead and sit and meditate together. Sitting up nice and tall, closing the eyes. Taking deep breaths. As you breathe in and out through the nose, feel the expansion and contraction of the lungs held and protected by the ribs. Continue to keep the heart open, the crown of the head lifting upward to create room for this movement. To encourage a free flow of movement of energy to be able to course upward towards the higher centers. Set your focus in and up to your mind's eye, the center point of your brow. Setting your gaze here can help to magnetize this energy as it awakens. Breathing slowly and deeply. In and out through the nose. Science says like every seven years, our cells have completely altered. 
we're completely anew. And that we're not the same person we are seven years from today, seven years from yesterday. I did a shamanic journey the other evening regarding soul retrieval. And I was shown myself at about seven to nine years of age. And again, around 15, around 24, and around 32, and around 40, and 47, what I've just turned. And I was seeing big life events happening in each of these stages. Seven, which represents spirituality and mysticism and numerology and nine, which is about completions. We're going through a cycle now. What is it from your past that you wanna leave behind? What is it that you want to release a fear, a burden, a limitation, false identity, negative habit. You may even see how you were shaped to be that by someone else and it's not even your truth you claimed it i'll disclaim it What is a truth that has bubbled to the surface? What are you recognizing that you might have suppressed? What are you reclaiming? What is it that you want? What are you envisioning? What do you want to create? You've planted the seeds. Now surrender and trust.
surrender and trust. Surrender and trust. Bring your hands to prayer position at your heart. May we flow with this Aries energy. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.